sarili ng mga anak ng Espiritu Santo. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa inyong panibagong pagkakataon upang kami ay matutunan. Salamat sa pagkakataon na ipatuloy namin ang aming pag-aaral sa kabila ng mga pagbabagong tulot na pinakaharap ng pandemya. Kabayan na ito ang lahat na nag-aaral upang malunan ang aming isipan at maunawaan ng Diyos ang anong mga relasyon na inundunan sa amin. Gabayan din naman ninyo ang ating mga guro na patuloy at doon sa kawang nagbibigay inspirasyon at dumagabay sa amin sa kanila na kinakaharap namin pasuko. Sa iyo ang pagwalhatin na aming pagsama, ang iyo na ang Diyos sa pangalan ng iyong anak na aming tagapagitas. Good day everyone! For our today's lesson, I will be discussing to you about working with text. This is under Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop. When we talk about working with text, we are talking about the text that will be inserted in a certain drawing area. So in inserting or using the text tool, you just have to click the text tool from your toolbar. Then you can start typing already. You can now see the, the horizontal type tool and the vertical type tool. There are two kinds or two types of text in Photoshop. We have what we call the point text and the paragraph text. Now, what is the difference between a point text and a paragraph text? Example. Let's say, for example, this is my Photoshop. And I created a new file already. To insert a text, you just have to click the text tool from your toolbar. You can right-click that one and choose what kind of text tool you would like to use or apply to your drawing area. It's either a vertical one and a horizontal one. So in my case, I will just click the text tool. Now, what are the two types of text tool? We have point text. So when we say point text, you just have to click. Then you can now start typing. So point. Then you can press enter or you can click move tool. So you can move the text. So that is point tool or point text. Now paragraph text, again, you have to click the text tool. Click and drag the mouse diagonally. Then you can now start typing. So example point and paragraph. So these are the two types of text tool under the Photoshop. Usually or basically when we use the paragraph text tool, if it, if it contains more than one sentences or a paragraph, Simply, it is composed of paragraphs already. Now, how are we going to format our text? Okay, for example, I would like to format this text, point. What you need to do is to select the text that you would like to format. You can click the text tool again. Then you can click the text or the toggle character and paragraph. Then, you will now be able to see the different styles, font styles, the size, and the color of the text. So example, we would like to change that from copper. Let's make it this one. Automatically, there will be some instances that you will no longer ask by the Photoshop to change the font style. When we talk about font style, we're talking about bold facing, italic, underline. So in this case, since I used already this type of font, you will no longer ask my Photoshop to choose what style you would like to apply for that particular text. Then you can change the size, example 72. If you're not yet satisfied with the size, you can simply type your desired size of text. So example 135.
So let's see what's up. That and so one twenty five. Then you can even change example a paragraph, the spacing in between the lines. So point then paragraph. Or Photoshop. There. So let me just change the font size. Now when we talk about the line spacing, you just have to click this one. So 172. Let's say for example 150. See, it moves. Okay. So that is line spacing. Now, if you want, you can choose or change the size vertically. So, you just have to type this one or change from 100%. Let's make it 150%. See? Now, if you would like to have a spaces in between the characters or the letters, you just have to click this one. So, example, 200. So, they will be apart from one another. So, if you would like to compress. So, somewhat similar to Microsoft Word, wherein we have their compress or condense, then expand. So, that is expand. If you would like to compress, let's make it 100%. And let's make it, example, 0%. If you would like to change the font style, you can have or click this one for a ticker one the italic if you want you can choose this one all caps small caps we have superscript superscript is sometimes used if you're going to type a numerical value with an exponent number example 24 raised to the second power so you can use that one Let's say, for example, I will be typing this 24 raised to the second power. See? Now, if that is hydrogen, so H, the opposite or the other way around that is subscript. So this one, 2, click again, then O. So that is subscript and superscript. If you would like to have an underline, Below the text, you can click underline. If you would like to change the color, again, you just have to click the text tool. No need for you to select this text. Click the color, then choose the color that you would like to use. Example, I will be choosing blue. There. So those are the different ways on how are you going to insert a text and to format the text. Now, there is another way on how are you going to modify or customize the color and even the design of the text. So, if you would like to perform those procedures, again, you have to click the text tool, meaning to say this text has been selected already. Go to Layers menu, click Layer Style, then click Blending Options. Now, you will see at the, right part, at the left panel of the screen the different styles. Let's start from the stroke. See, since the black color, so you will be having a line color which is black. Let's change that into yellow. See? You can even change the size or the width, the thickness. It could be outside, inside center. You can blend, normal, multiply. You can even change the opacity. See what happened to the lines. If you would like to have single color, you can choose color. If you would like to have two colors for your strokes, just click the fill type, then choose gradient. So example, let's change this one from yellow And the other one, let's change this one into example green. See? Then just click OK. 
So that is a stroke. Now, if you would like to change the pattern overlay, you can click pattern overlay. You can choose the different patterns that you would like to use. Example, this one. Let's change the stroke into. Let's make it color then black. So that you will be able to see the design per se. Under pattern overlay. You can even change the scale. See what happened. Look what will happen. See? See? If you want, you can choose another one. If in case that you're not yet satisfied with the different pattern overlay that you can see here, you just have to click the arrow right button, then choose the different kinds of pattern layer. So example, I will be choosing a different pattern layer. That would be this one. See what will happen. Let's change that to another one. See? Look what happened. Like for example, I'll be choosing this one. And this one. This one. And this one. And again, change the scale. See? You can even change or modify the point. Let's just make it normal. That is pattern overlay. But if you would like to choose two or more colors, antique pattern color or pattern overlay, then click gradient overlay. You can choose now the gradient color that you would like to use. So for example, this one. If you want, you can modify that one. You can simply click yellow. If you would like to change the color, just click at the center of the gradient. Click one of the pencils, then choose a different color. So example, green. And that is yellow. So let's make this one a little bit darker. And this one a little bit lighter. See? Then just click OK. You can even change the style by clicking style, linear, then change the angle. Look what is happening. If you want, you can use radial. You can also choose angle. You can also choose reflected or diamond. In my case, I will be choosing linear. Then I will be choosing this angle. So that is a gradient overlay. But if you would like to choose one color only, again, remove the check mark and click color overlay. Choose a different color. Example, red. And let's change this time the stroke color into yellow. Okay? Now, if you would like to make it or change that into satin, see? Let's make this normal. The distance. The size. Here, look what happened. See? If you want, you can choose bevel and emboss. We have their inner bevel, emboss, pillow emboss, then stroke emboss. I will be choosing emboss. Look what happened. So you can choose the depth, the size. The soft pen. You can even change the color. So since that is red and yellow, let's make it white. Here, then let's change this into normal. Let's say, for example, this one, let's make it green. See? Then let's make it normal. Change that there. You can also choose inner glow. So what will happen if we're going to choose inner glow? So click inner glow. Let's make it normal. Let's choose a different color. Instead of instead of red, let's choose 
light color hair the noise choking and the size see look what's happening there You can even choose the contour, anti alias, see, there. If you want, you can use outer glow. So this time, outside the text. So let's make it normal. Let's choose this time, instead of red, yellow, let's make it violet. Look what happened. So let's make it a fancy piece one hundred percent. The noise. Let's make it precise. You can even choose cheetah. Inner shadow. So you're going to apply a shadow inside the text. So let's make it yellow. There. The distance. The size. Let's remove the stroke. See, you can even change the angle. Drop shadow. We don't want to talk what's the purpose of the drop shadow. Let's make it yellow or white. No, you will not be able to see white. So let's choose yellow. Instead, let's choose yellow. Then let's choose normal. The distance. Side. And just click OK. If you are already satisfied with the different blending style, you can click already OK or press Enter. So those are the different ways on how are you going to format a certain text. Now, aside from changing the physical look of the text, the color, the font, the size, the style, even the alignment, the height, the spacing in between the characters, you can also modify that one by changing the position. How does it look like? So to do that, simply press Ctrl T, so that is select tool. Choose one of the angle points that you can see there. Then while clicking, press Ctrl key from the keyboard. Then drag the mouse diagonally. Look what happened. See? So that is point. You can even right click. You can use screw. If you want, you can use alt key. See? Control key. So, in that way, you can rasterize or change the position of the text. Whether in a slanting position, downward, or you were in, you can see that as if it is in a 3D motion. So, this the text. Now, let's say, for example, I'm going to insert a circle on the lips too. So, to draw a circle, you have to press the shift key while dragging the mouse diagonally. There. Now, if you would like to type a text following the format of the circle, so click the text tool. Look, you will see there, instead of this arrow that you can see, you can see there a beam or an eye beam with a special character. So, that should be displayed. Then click, let's change the color, okay? Let's say, for example, I will be typing Fortunato. See what happened. Family National Agricultural School. Let's change the size. Let's make it 3D. Then we can spread the, that one or expand. a little bit more and let's make it 100 see 
You can even change the color. Let's make it green or red. Or green. Since the color of our spool is green, you can even make that as a bold facing. You can even change the layer style. Then let's try to apply a stroke color. Instead of black, let's change that into white. See? So that is the proper way on how are you going to insert a text following the path of a certain shape that is being inserted in your drawing area. So this time, I hope you've learned a lot when we talk about text tool and Photoshop. Bye everyone and see you in our next video lesson.